First of all, it's cash only. It can be thrilling. That's unbelievable. I got 100. Fast paced. Three back here. Bidding on one of the most popular auction items across the country. Sold, sold, sold. Storage units. But if you're not careful, this ain't the big score, that's for sure. I got 110 going. You could end up losing your savings. Columbus auctioneer Rhonda De Janeiro tells me the crowds at her auctions have more than tripled in the last two years. On the average lately, there's been somewhere between 60 and 80 people showing up at the auction. Thanks to the top-rated reality shows about storage auctions. Back in the day, before the shows, a, a lot of people showing up might have been 12 people. Got six and I need six and a quarter. Rhonda's been an auctioneer for the past 10 years, but she's been buying these units for more than 30 years, and she's seen the ups and downs of this phenomenon. You never know what you're going to get. It's exciting. She says buying a storage unit is a gamble. You're buying to clean out somebody else's unit. Because these are people who fell behind on rental payments. This is one she just bought. That's kind of pretty. She's letting me help her rummage through some of the boxes. Whatever you want out, just be careful you don't get hurt. It may look like a pile of trash to some. That's not a hot item, a used heating pad. But for bargain hunters, the search is on to find a treasure. I got a chinchilla fur coat last year, which when I do my auctions in the wintertime, I wear that fancy fancy coat to the auctions. So the payoff does happen. I was between hip surgeries. I only had $250 to my name and I went to an auction and I bought a unit for $90. I found a $10 gold piece. Don't know what I found stamps and I had love letters from the late 1800s to the early 1900s. She sold the contents for $5,000. It saved me. It was a godsend. But huge profits don't happen every day. After digging through her boxes and boxes. Wow, cool. More CDs. That's money makers. Thought it was a Hawaiian skirt. And finding some but pretty unusual is. stuff. This is an umbrella for a patio. It's so bizarre some of the stuff you get. Reality sets you in. We have it found that gem. I bought 14 units in the last five weeks and I haven't hit profit yet. So it's uh, it's like gambling. So before you gamble, Rhonda says make sure you have enough money to cover your losses. When you're at an auction, you never know what you'll get. Bidders don't get to go inside the unit. They can only glimpse from the outside. And the experienced bidders I found bring flashlights. Danielle and Rob Pettit bought two units during this southeast side auction. They spent $600 on this one. They wanted it for the jewelry. Just crazy things you'll find that are worth money. Once you buy a storage unit, you have 48 hours to clean it out. These experts tell me they don't let the merchandise just sit. Know where you're going to sell it. Then it's your job to you know put it on eBay or Craigslist. You know answer 20, 30, 40 emails a day. Rhonda sells her stuff also at flea markets. So if you're looking to turn a profit, there's definitely work involved. But for Rhonda, she wouldn't have it any other way. Once you get started, you can't stop.